Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rhonda and today I'm going to be videoing my 2020 bullet journal flip through. I have not done a bullet journal flip through in a couple of years. Let's go ahead and get started. So I started 2020 with a key. I had not done one before and Sad to say, I did not use it, but I thought I might, but I didn't. And then I love coffee cups, so I started the year out with a coffee cup. Here is the year at a glance. As you can see, filled out some of these, did not fill out um, July through December. At the end of the year, I go back and I take my monthly verses that I do throughout each month and I pick out my favorite verses and I I write them in my power verses page. I had some goals. I wanted to read the Bible in the mornings. That did not happen, just to be honest. I normally read my Bible at night. It did not happen in the morning. Um, this is going to be a goal for 2021 and we'll just pray that happens. Mm, I know I have to make it happen, but it, yeah, it didn't happen this year. So I love this quote still from Anna Green Gables. Tomorrow is always fresh with no mistakes in it. A blank page I was saving just in case I had something else to add. Um, and but I didn't. So here is my January spread. New tracker. Not quite finished. Put some verses out for one. Um, created some goals. And I have a tracker that I didn't use. So as you can see, I love creating my bullet journals, but I'm not I'm not always um, consistent in using it. Um, I have my calendar for January. It's my first weekly spread. This page looks pretty messy, but I did get this um, washi tape in Thailand, so it's kind of fun. All right. February. I loved, loved this page. I got this illustration. I found, a, not the flowers exactly, but I found this little fox, um, a similar fox with the tail going down here like that. And I found that on Pinterest, I believe. But my quote says, train yourself to let go of everything you fear to lose. And that is, I think that's Yoda. Mood tracker. I didn't finish it. That's really sad because this is really pretty. I started my verses. My verses page. I didn't do my habit tracker again. I think I learned from that first time. Calendar page for February. And as you can see, I'm ha I have a floral theme for pretty much every month. I just choose a different character. Like this January, I did the moon. February, I did a fox. And here's March. I did not, I was traveling at that time and then we heard about COVID and all that stuff. So I was coming back to the, the States in March. Um, so it's pretty sad that I have to go back. And that day I flew back in March. All right, then April, I like this verse, the Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart trusts. I did finish my mood tracker here and verses. Had lots more time. I think this was quarantine time, I guess. Lots of people staying home. Did my important dates. And, and the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. I've been praying a lot for healing. And um, I've been really seeing God work in my health this year. So that's been amazing. May was not my favorite. I think the colors, when I, I tried to print this off. Um, the printer it didn't it just um, lots of colors, um, but this was fun. This is the May calendar. I kind of like that mood tracker. I never, I did not finish it, but I like the circles. Started my verses. I used my phone memo. Weekly spread. spread last one with me now here's June and this oh wait so June 
was fun. I did these popsicles. I really liked this theme. Finished the mood tracker. June's calendar. I'm going to use, this was the first time using my faux memo, I think, in my spread. And so I did a label for June. Weekly spread. Do everything in love. And then June weekly spread. And then this was an extra page. I forget. I left it for the last weekly spread and didn't do one. So I just wrote here, it's okay to leave a page empty once in a while. I totally agree with that. Or I believe that wholeheartedly. July, I thought was a fun. So I did a watercolor here on cardstock, just for fun, really. And then here's my. Um, this should say month at a glance. I don't know why it says week at a glance. That was a typo. I did a little uh, mood board in this month. Started my verses. Didn't finish my mood tracker, but I did start my page marker. In July calendar. I started using brain dumps again in July. So this is a really good verse. He rides on the wings of the wind. Wow, that was back in July. Huh. Doesn't seem like that long ago. On earth as it is in heaven. I like that verse. This is another week we spread, and then now I get to October. Which I think it's the purple pen that I used. I used a purple micron pen, and I didn't didn't love that. Um, mood tracker I did finish. I did a little bit of journaling. Get into November, and I feel like there was something here. Maybe not. This is November. Oh, I covered up the what I did because I didn't like what I did underneath. But important dates, I didn't use it. I didn't use my brain dump. I didn't use my mood tracker. I really just fell off with this last month here. But I did create this. And this is a really one of my favorite verses. He rides on the wings of the wind. I think this is going to be pretty blank. Did not use it. But it looks really pretty. Another weekly spread. I guess I just I think I've just been really busy in November um, with work. Work was really I've um, been teaching online and it's taking up a lot of time. As you can tell, I have not written down anything. Just getting through the, the month. And then here's December. So I will be working on this. I want to have a bucket list here. So I know I'm going to um, one of the things would be pick out a tree, and we did do that one, so I can just cross that one off already. We caught up our cider. cider. I'll just do a few right now, and I know I want to go ice skating, if I can find a place that's open. A lot of things are closed on COVID. I did this little watercolor here. Gonna make a gift list, so I'm probably not gonna buy those that many gifts. I don't know. Here's my tracker. I'm gonna go ahead and try to start using that because it is the beginning of the month, so I can start. So he is the atoning sacrifice for sins, and not only for ours, but also for the sins of the whole world. Love that. And here's my verses page. I'm gonna start writing my verses in here. Do my mood tracker. The brain dump. This is my calendar for December. This is my first week. And I actually, I don't know. I guess I went ahead and did the seventh there because I figured I could go ahead and make an extra one here. Um, so, yeah, that is my the end. I have a few pages left for my weekly spreads. And then here was some scratch pages at the back. <laughs> so that is my year 2020. And it was a really great, despite all the things that were going on, this, was, this has been a really good year for me. Um, gotten out of debt. 
I finished my third year of bullet journaling and I have a new journal. I'm going to, well, it's not a new journal, it's an old journal. I got it a couple years ago, but I never used it. And I decided once I got through using my Voigtstrom here, um, I would use. I would use this one. This is an Archer and Olive bullet journal and I'm going to start out the year with it. It does have really thick paper so I can paint and watercolor in it. I've already done some bullet journaling in it, um, but I'm excited to use it um, for my regular bullet journaling spreads. And I, hope, I know there's not a ton of pages so I'm a little bit worried about having enough pages, but I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be good. So yeah, that's it for my flip through and hope to see you in some more videos and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!